we would like to use the bilateral negotiation to push the multilateral negotiation. Yeah, I, I hope I hope this time we, we can we can uh, resolve. I got the solutions, and uh, I think we have a uh, uh, three days to go, so maybe four days ago, and I hope uh, uh, whatever for the uh, we can we can use uh, many the bilateral negotiation, for example, China U.S. China U Europe, and we can push this uh, uh, approach. I think we should make a balance between ambition targets and pragmatic actions. So that means we must turn the ambition targets into the concrete actions. But how to, to do this? So I, I think we, we should more uh, detail the policy release and more you know, a cooperation on this. If no cooperation, no more research, no more like, actions, I think it's, it's also very difficult, even for the two degree. Have a more, uh, you know, targets like a 1.5 degree, uh, but we should additional conditions. For example, uh, what about the fund? Developed country cannot, uh, you know, got uh, the 100 uh, uh, billion U.S. dollars uh, so to support the uh, you know, developing countries. Another one about the technology cooperation. The cooperation on the te technology is not enough. Uh, Service uh, capacity building. You know, even for the data, uh, in many of the developing countries, I think uh, we don't have very good uh, sy uh, systematic system for the data collection, for the data quality. So we need uh, the much investment on the capacity building. So money, technology, and the capacity building is a package. We should, you know, help the other developing countries to to, to increase overall the capacity. So I think all countries should, should do their best, but developed countries should you know, go first. Uh, well, well, show us what's the best practice, what's the you know, uh, most uh, cost-benefit action.